There came a point in Meghan's 29-year-old life when she decided it was time to be an adult and buy a house. And as a loan officer, she wanted to practice what she preached about investing in home ownership. Before we go any further please hit the like and subscribe button so you never miss an update. Then again, living on a dairy farm near Boise, Idaho, with only cows for neighbors could have been a factor, too. Either way, after 11 years of renting, Meghan was ready to buy a house. As a single woman with an active lifestyle, Meghan didn't want an older house that required a lot of work or maintenance, so she focused her search on newer homes. Trouble was, many houses were out of her price range, and those that weren't got snapped up quickly. Due to its lower cost of living, Boise is in the midst of a boom. People from more expensive cities, such as, San Francisco and Seattle, are flocking to the area. In fact, Forbes named Boise America's fastest growing city in 2018 with home prices increasing 11.58%. After getting priced out of the market in their cities of origin, these transplanted residents weren't blinking at the median home price of $319,000. This and a shortage of inventory made for a super hot real estate market not exactly ideal when you're looking for your first home and have a limited budget. Being a resourceful millennial, Meghan started researching her options. She discovered a private non-profit organization, called NeighborWorks Boise, whose mission is to revitalize communities and offer affordable housing alternatives. This national organization builds pocket neighborhoods consisting of 10 to 15 energy-efficient homes, clustered together to form a close-knit community. Meghan qualified for their program by meeting the income limit of $90,000. Through NeighborWorks Boise, Meghan found a newly constructed home affordably priced at $184,000. At only 700 square feet, the cute little house featured two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a living area, kitchen, front porch, and attached garage. I fell in love, says Meghan, and the price was perfect. Because the home wasn't complete, she was able to personalize it by making decisions on the finishes. Although NeighborWorks also offers affordable loans, Meghan chose conventional financing through her employer, a mortgage lending company. Thanks to private mortgage insurance, she was able to put down only 3% that is 5,520. I considered making a 5% that is $9,200 down payment but opted for 3%, explains Meghan. I used the extra $3,680 to buy furniture, and keep some money in savings for a rainy day. Since Meghan moved in five months ago, her new home has already increased in value, appraising at $205,000 and boosting her equity by $21,000. And the planned close-knit community will soon be even closer when her co-worker moves into the same pocket neighborhood. Meghan's looking forward to having an already-made friend as her neighbor instead of cows. Is it the right time for you to buy a house? Find out by visiting mgic.com slash resources slash buy now. Plus, follow the stories of other first-time home buyers and learn from their experiences at readynast.com slash homebuyer hyphen stories. That is all for now. If you find this video helpful please hit that like and subscribe button and press the bell icon, so you never miss an update again.